Hey guys, it's uh, Tom from winrumors.com here. I'm just going to take you quickly through the phone uh, feature of the phone and also the Outlook and Calendar integration. So if we quickly look at the phone, um, not a lot's actually changed uh, from Nodo in the phone. Um, so you get the standard history to start off with. Um, if you notice down the bottom, we actually have a search button now. So you can search for, 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 for your contacts, see who you've called, etc. Um, now when you go into an actual call in, in the log, you get the, the, the usual profile and, and what's new, putting from Facebook and Windows Live. Um, you also get um, pictures and now a new history. So you can actually see when, when the last time you called or, or text, etc. You, uh, they would also list under here emails as well. Um, and you can also search for, for prior emails. That's quite a, a neat, neat new feature. Um, as for the actual callings, it's fairly the same. Um, if we look at Nodo. And you see it's it's fairly similar. I mean, it's most it's mainly that but that search button for from an interface uh, perspective. Okay, so we're going to look at the Outlook integration now. Um, the first thing you'll notice is again a new search button, um, and also there's a new conversation view. So you just tap to expand that and tap tap to close it. What you notice is um, basically you'll get a thread of of email replies and and also sent messages in there as well. So you can see that's in sent items. You can also tap on the left and delete those individually. Um, so that's the default view compared to Nodo, where you just get the individual messages. So that's quite neat. Um, what you will notice is in Nodo, the sync button was was literally on the right there, and you had a folder button. You, they've um, removed the folder button, and that has actually switched into into here. So you can see the folders at the top. Um, instead, it's been replaced with the search button, so you can search through your mail there. Um, now, the biggest addition probably to Outlook is the new linked inboxes feature. You can see that there. Now, you'll notice on the start screen, I've got an Outlook inbox there and a Hotmail inbox. And if I go back to the Outlook inbox, and if I go into linked inboxes, you can see here you can link different inboxes. So if I select Hot Hotmail, and then I could just perhaps call this personal. There you go, and then hit OK. If I go back to the start screen, it'll be personal, personal um, linked inbox now, and no separate, separate inbox. Um, you can do this primarily to sort of separate your personal and your work email on the device. Um, if we go back, you can separate them out again and unlink get back to separate mailboxes. Okay, another new feature um, is the ability to actually pin folders to the um, to the start screen. So if we go to Outbox and then pin to start and you get Outbox on there. So you can go straight into the Outbox. Quite useful for people who tend to switch in between their folders quite regularly. Okay, we're going to switch over to the calendar now and look at some of the new features in there. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is instead of just agenda and day, we now have agenda to do and day. So to do will now sync in your tasks, so you can add those in on di different different um, accounts, and you can set them to also show by priority or completed, etc. Now. The new day look also brings in all the different calendars. So if you've added in multiple accounts, you can colour these differently here. So for example, the Facebook account, um, it now supports the Facebook events. Um, so you can get those those come in as a different colour. So if we go back, I'll show you how that works. So there's a Facebook event there. If we go in here, you get all the sort of details of the event and then you can also go across and you can get the wall with all the messages and you also get the, the, the details of the guests who are attending that event so you can also go in and say yes I'm, I'm, I'm attending or I'm not 
Now you can also sync multiple calendars across Exchange as well. Um, unfortunately, the Exchange I use is is the Google um, Exchange, so I won't be able to show you that very well. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's in there. You can, if you've got a, an Exchange account and multiple calendars, then they'll they'll sync down to the device, and you can colour those appropriately. And um, you can also join a link um, meeting directly from the calendar as well, which which obviously requires a, a link server. Okay, and one last thing to look at in the calendar is you can now quickly insert uh, calendar entries into the day view. Um, so if we just click in here, and then we say, just say hey, and then we click on save, that literally inserts it, and then you can go back in and, and change the details. Um, previously, you'd had this would be the screen that you'd get when you when you clicked on it, but now they've they've created like a quick insert mechanism. Now, um, just to switch back to Outlook quickly, um, just going to show the search functionality off. Um, now, you can search for your emails in here. Uh, what you can also do is, if you've got an Exchange server, you can also search more in Outlook. Um, now, this isn't going to work at the moment because I don't have any connectivity. Um, but what you what you get is it would populate all any any additional emails on the server that that include Facebook. Um, or whatever your search term was. So it's, it's, it's another neat functionality for those with Exchange. Okay, and that concludes our look at Outlook, um, the calendar and the phone. So I think next we're going to do Internet Explorer and Xbox Live. So stay tuned for that later in the week.